there's been plenty of doubts right through this marathon training block but I've made it I've made it to taper two weeks to the Melbourne Marathon October 2 can't wait and as I say that there's a little snake starting to get a bit of a reputation seeing so many snakes but it is really warming up here in Brisbane the marathon bib arrived today so it's getting real and if you've been watching the channel guys you know I've had some ups and downs I'm here now it's all about getting the body fresh getting the mind in the right spot in the right frame of mind and then just letting it all happen on race day in this video I'm going to talk about the last long run that I did yesterday so this is the first day of the taper just a nice easy recovery so I'm going to talk about last week's final week of the marathon training block before the taper also what marathon shoe sorry for the sun guys what marathon shoe well I'm going to let you know which one I've discarded because uh, there's a few reasons why I'm not going to run in this shoe in Melbourne and I've got to say it hurts not to run in this shoe so stick around guys and we'll talk about what that shoe is after I've done this recovery run I've known for a while but Melbourne Marathon October 2 same day as the London Marathon so it's gonna be great knocking over my marathon in Melbourne and then later in the day having a few beers really looking forward to watching that race but I'm more excited about chasing that sub three hour there in Melbourne come on I know I can do it and everyone who's watched the channel and have supported me give me huge inspiration to go out there and do it so come on a couple of easy weeks race day bring it on can you believe it another snake there he is there i don't want to get too close to him he looks like he could be a red belly he's only small though wow two snakes i am going to get a reputation so like i said i think he was a little red belly black snake they are poisonous i think the other one i think he might have just been a tree snake so not 100 percent sure i'm certainly no wildlife expert but if he was a tree snake harmless they can still bite you but i don't think they're poisonous but yeah only a couple of weeks ago i saw that a big black snake uh, out on one of my runs out sunning himself but it's just got so warm here in brisbane the last couple of days that uh yeah they're out i've already had a few mates who have seen a few out and about guys if you're in australia the snakes are out so just be careful where you're running and have your wits about you where you're putting your foot I don't think I've ever seen two in one go on one run. All right, let's do a bit of grass. Yep, a bit of grass action. Oh, there's Matt. Oh, ran with him yesterday. How about I turn around? We'll go and meet up with Matt. Unbelievable. Two snakes. Can't keep a good man down. Can't keep a good man down. <laughs> Didn't even see you there. <laughs> How many snakes have you seen? I've seen none. Two. What, what were they? Uh, black snake down the end. Oh, so probably already. Only about two. Two foot. And a little tree today from that track coming in. There we go guys, back home after that recovery run. A little bit over 11 kilometers, five minute 11 per kilometer average. So a nice recovery run after yesterday's long run, which I'll talk about in a little bit. 
ran today in the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2s. Um, I've got to retire them. Really disappointing, and it does hurt me because I love running in this shoe, but 830 kilometres, and today I really felt out there on some of those uh, gravelly trails that underneath was starting to feel the rocks coming through and just pressing my thumb in there. Yeah, there's not a lot of cushion under there. I can't run in these anymore with that sort of issue happening there, but 830 kilometers. The other pair, 820 kilometers in them as well. These shoes have been fantastic. Have a look at the outsole there. Really thought that they wouldn't stand up as well as they have because there was a bit of wear and tear early on, but didn't get any worse really. So to get 800 plus kilometers out of a pair of shoes, I'm really happy with that. So yesterday's long run, 35 kilometers, last long run before Melbourne Marathon. Went to Sandgate, about 30 minutes north of where I live here, and ran with Matt. The plan for that long run was just to spend three hours out there. Pace didn't matter, distance didn't matter. It was just about having some time on the legs, that last long run before the Melbourne Marathon. It was gorgeous up there at Sandgate. Stunning morning, running beside the water beautiful footpaths all the way along the Esplanade foreshore area uh, up there on the Redcliffe Peninsula. It's just nice to go to a different location to get away from the normal running routes that I do here around home. It was the end of a big week for me, 148 kilometres. Now there was a reason why it was so big. I had done another long run to start the week on the Monday because I had transferred my Sunday long run to the Monday. So that's why I ended up with 148K. But gotta say, body feels really good, even though that was my biggest mileage week since the beginning of April, uh, when I was preparing for the UTA 100 kilometer trail race down there in the Blue Mountains before it got uh, postponed. Yeah, I think I'm in pretty good shape now heading towards Melbourne in two weeks. Now, I did say out there on that recovery run that I am a step closer to working out what my marathon shoe will be for the Melbourne Marathon and having to discard the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus really does hurt me because I enjoy running in this shoe but there's just been a couple of issues which have caused me a little bit of doubt uh, about using this shoe for the marathon. If you remember back to when I ran the Gold Coast Marathon about three months ago, I did suffer from sore feet towards the end of the marathon in this shoe. And on a recent long run as well, 35 kilometer run, I had this happen. I did have something to show you guys, but when I went to grab the GoPro footage, the file was corrupt, nothing to see here. But I'm gonna to explain to you what happened in the last long run wearing the Metaspeed Sky Plus. It rubbed my toe right here, just on my left foot, and didn't really notice anything until I got home, looked down at the shoe, and there was just a little blood stain here. And when I took the shoe off, the sock was bloodied, the toe was bloodied. And I thought to myself, well, that's a bit of a worry when this could be a possible shoe for the Melbourne Marathon. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy running in this shoe, but those two issues from the Gold Coast Marathon and that long run are just enough to plant a seed of doubt in my mind about using this shoe. So look, it's a fantastic shoe, 220 grams in my size, US 11 and a half. I love the breathable upper mesh. I love the Flight Foam Boost Turbo in this midsole, but I just can't take the chance of having those couple of issues strike during the Melbourne Marathon. I've run 18, 17, 5K in this shoe. I ran a 39, 06, 10K in this shoe recently as well. My fastest times over those distances in the past five years, it hurts, but I have to discard this shoe from the Melbourne Marathon. If you did miss my Gold Coast Marathon recap, check out this video up here, guys, and you can see what went down on the day. But until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.